Hello traders and welcome to the Forex Boat educational series. In this video, we will be talking about the extremely important topic in trading. We will be talking about the trading psychology. This is one of the most important aspects of trading. And to be honest with you, I personally think this is the utmost important trading factor. We will talk about the key elements of trading psychology. We will be talking about the trading mistakes while you're in the trade, after you close the losing trade and after you closed a profitable trade. We will also discuss the difference between the successful and a failed traders. And finally, we will talk about how to improve your trading psychology to become a consistently profitable trader. Let's get started. So what are the key elements of trading psychology? Well, the first off, this is a discipline. It is as simple as that. You just have to follow the rules. And many traders find it extremely difficult to follow their own strategies. And you know why? Because most people don't have a strategy. They basically don't know exact rules for the entry, exit, profit fixing, and so on. So no rules, no strategy, no discipline. To fix that, there is a very easy step. Take a piece of paper and write down the rules that you have for your strategy. One by one, every single rule. And once you start trading, you will discover that there are certain cases for which you don't have the rule and you don't know what to do. This is the reason why there is no discipline. Many traders simply don't know what they are doing and how to act on certain market conditions, what to do, whether close the trade, fix profit, leave it open or open another one and so on. They don't know. So write it down and continue to add the rules. So you have it for every case that is in the market that you have seen and you will see more and more of them. So add to your strategy, make it complete. This way you will have all the rules which will help you to be a disciplined trader because this way you can stop being a gambler and you can start following the rules. Another point or key element of trading psychology is the mindset. It's a very important aspect because what is in your head, that is your reality. So the main problem is not the market, but the problem is inside your head. If you program yourself to lose, you will continue to lose. As an example, you had several losing trades and you are expecting yet another loser. This is subconsciousness. This is how you program yourself for these losers and they will keep on coming. So it's a deep work inside of you. You need to stay calm. I don't know, maybe do a meditation. This really can help. It might sound stupid, but it will make you calm. It will make you more confident. It will help you to set your mind properly. It will help you to put your goals together. What are your goals in trading? Why are you trading? Understand it and then go towards the goal. And if you program yourself to make huge profits, you will start making mistakes again because you will overexpose yourself in the market. The risk will be increased and therefore it will make you stressed. It will force you to make stupid mistakes. So don't try to put as a goal or program yourself for huge profit. This will not work. We will continue talking about that in a second. So what you need to program yourself for is to follow the rules. This will truly help you to avoid most, if not all the mistakes you can possibly have with your emotions in relation to the trading psychology. This will also add a self-confidence, which is yet another key element of trading psychology. So self-confidence is very important. How can you be confident if you don't have a strategy? It's impossible because you don't know what you're doing. It usually results in hesitation or some sort of an internal conflict because no strategy, no idea what to do next in the market while you see something new happening, some big moves. And there are some conflicts inside yourself, whether you should add to the position, whether you should close it, whether you should open a new one. These conflicts are really working against you. This hesitation, no confidence, really something that any trader needs to 
overcome and improve. Now let's talk about the trading mistakes that most traders do. We will talk about trading mistakes after loss, trading mistakes after profit and trading mistakes while you're in a trade. The most common mistakes after loss. Well, of course, greed. The trader becomes greedy and it really interferes in the decision making process because you're not following your strategy anymore. You become greedy. You start trading aggressive or stop trading at all. You're getting emotionally involved and this is unacceptable. Trading is not about being emotional. Trading is about managing your emotions. So manage your emotions, see them, see the greed inside yourself and say, why I am greedy? And you will understand which mistakes you're doing, why you are becoming greedy. Well, most commonly, it's because you don't have a strategy or you programmed yourself to have a huge profits, which results in overconfidence and overexposure. Next one is the fear. So when you just had a losing trade, of course, there is a fear that the next one will be a loss again. It also results in a hesitation in some conflicts inside of you, whether you should open the trade or not. And yet again, lack of discipline and you don't following your own rules because you are feared of losing yet another trade. So really a common mistake is greed and fear in terms of the emotion. The next one comes the revenge. Revenge trading, it's well known amongst all new traders. What you do after losing trade? Yes, you want to get your money back from the market. And this yet again results in the overexposure. Why would you try to get your money back and increase your risk. This way you can lose even more on the next trade and then another trade even more. And so you will wipe out your account in a matter of days, if not hours. Extremely, extremely bad attitude to the losing trade. So think about it, what you're doing wrong if you lost a trade and what, what can be improved to avoid these kind of mistakes. Look at your emotions, look at yourself to help you to deal with that. And the best thing, of course, is to have a strategy and just follow it. The next one, we will talk about the trading mistakes after a profitable trade. Well, imagine you just made a huge profit and what you're thinking, you're thinking you're the god you are thinking you can make huge amount of money in a matter of days, I don't know, maybe weeks. You can buy a car, you can buy a house, you start dreaming and it results in the overconfidence and overexposure because you're becoming too confident. You think that your strategy is the best, but there is no bad or good strategy in my opinion, more or less they can be the same, but improved. There are bad traders, not the strategy. Strategy is not as important as the trader and the trading psychology. Overconfidence will result in the overexposure and it will result in the higher or increased risk, which will result in a potentially huge loss. So not a good idea to be overconfident or get overexposed in the market. The next point is the trading mistakes while you are in the trade, psychological mistakes. This is the most dangerous time when you are in the trade because you are making most mistakes. You are really emotionally involved once you have your position opened. The strongest mistake is the lack of discipline. We have spoken about already. This is very important. You don't have a strategy and this results in the lack of discipline. Even actually with the strategy, people don't follow their own rules. But most commonly, guys, this is not because you don't have a strategy, but you do have it, but it's really primitive. It's something that doesn't give you the rules for every single condition that can be experienced in the market. So you need to have a complete list of rules to follow. If you don't, you will always suffer of lack of discipline because you simply don't know what to do. Next one is, of course, greed. While you're in a trade and the trade gets profitable, you think that the market will go or continue to go in your direction. But in fact, it can reverse at any moment and you are yet again overexposing yourself. So the greed is really not your friend. You need to stay consistent with your lot size, with your risk management to avoid the greed factor. 
The next one is fear. So once you're in a trade and the trade goes against you, the fear comes into play. You are starting to fear that you will lose money and, and then comes hesitation as well. Whether you should close the trade with a loss or whether you should add to the losing position or should open a trade in an opposite direction. So these are the sort of things which all come out from the lack of discipline and the lack of trading strategy itself. And of course, the lack of the proper money management where you understand where to open the trade and how big should be the trade size to keep you confident and comfortable with it. Another trading mistakes while you're in the trade is uh, closing the trade too late or too early. For example, you are in the profit, you're halfway towards the profit, but then hesitation comes into play. And of course, it might result in the trade being closed too early, not getting the targeted profit. You cut your profit and therefore your risk to reward ratio goes down substantially with every single trade. And over the extended period of time, you will find yourself either at the break even or at the loss. So very important, don't get out of the trade too early. Same applies for the closing the trade too late. Sometimes your profit target has been reached, but what you do, you think, okay, price might be going much higher and I will add to the position or keep it open. But the next day you wake up and you see that the price is below your entry point and you are actually in a loss. So you're closing the trade with a loss instead of it being profitable and closed yesterday. So very important to stick to the rules yet again. Other two factors, overconfidence and overexposure, which kind of goes in line with the greed, fear, hesitation and trades being closed too early or too late. So these are the main factors or the main mistakes while you are in a trade. Now it's time to talk about the difference between the successful and failed traders. What sets them apart? What is so special about the successful trader? Well, I call it a fearless consistency because the main difference is that the professional trader sees his emotions and he can manage his emotions. Probably to control emotions is not the best way because control means restrictions. Don't restrict yourself. Just see your emotions and manage them instead of controlling them. So trading without a fear, what it gives you, it gives you a peace of mind, it gives you self-confidence and it gives you a pleasant trading experience. Because guys, come on, we all probably had times when we open a trade, we always constantly watching on our phones or PC, what is going on with the trade where they, the price has moved one pip above or below and every five minutes we follow the trade, we are so nervous and we're always in distress. And this sort of psychological condition is what you must avoid. Trading without a fear means that you don't have a fear that your trade will hit the stop loss because this is the part of the game. There is no way without it. You just trade it and you feel confident with your trade. You have no fear. And this way you are able to follow your strategy, your trading plan. Another difference between novice and professional trader is that the professional is consistent. So he trades fearlessly and consistently. He does the same all over again and again. He follows his rules, he sticks to the plan, he sticks to his money management. So he is consistent with his trading because he follows what he produced. Everything written down and this way he will become consistent. Disregarding what is happening in the market, he will either produce less profit, very, very little profit consistently, or he will produce a good profit and also consistently. Professional trader can only lose money if his strategy is bad and the professional trader will always see it quite early that he needs to change the strategy. But this is a completely different topic not related to the trading psychology. Now finally let's talk about how to improve your trading psychology. Well the first rule and it might sound ridiculous is that don't try to make money. I know trading is about making money, but if your focus will be on making money, 
you will be distracted from the main goal. You need to focus on the trading plan rather than to make money. Because if you are focusing on your plan, on the trading psychology, on the money management, you will become consistent. And this is how the big money can come. You can trade with a very little account, but show good performance and you can attract other investors, for example. So you don't need to make huge money by your own but you need to be consistent in order to start making good very good profit now the next one is of course strictly following your rules this will help you to become consistent have the rules written down as we already spoken about and follow every single step in your book if it doesn't work for the for some time you will notice that you will still be consistent you will not make huge losses that is very important so you can start on demo trading analyzing whether the strategy works or not so when you see that it is profitable you can trade it consistently by following all the rules the next point is the money management you need to apply a solid risk management to your strategy this will help you to avoid big losses and this will help you to stay confident and in control of your emotions such as fear and greed and guys as you can see it all comes to the strategy to the discipline and to the money management so these are the key points you need to master don't chase the money chase the consistency and you will get there and you will be happy with yourself and you will be a fearless, a consistent trader. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click the like, subscribe to our channel and smash that notification bell to follow the next educational video that will be coming up shortly. Take care guys, promise to you.